Bobby Joe Reed in the state of Texas. Here is Perry's. Reed. Maxwell, he's fouled. And it was Dunleavy reaching in to commit the foul. Basket good. Maxwell at the line. This guy you're looking at right now will be our halftime feature. Bill Russell visiting. Robert Reed seemingly has gotten his offensive show back together. Maxwell. Beautiful blue by Cornbread. Piney at 32. Off to his backcourt mate who's also 32 years of age. Maxwell. And Cedric has another two points. 23 in the last few games. He thought he was fouled on that play. Archibald. Off to Maxwell. A fast break is underway. Time got Parrish out of there in a hurry when he picked up his fouls. But maybe he thinks he's stabilized. There's Willoughby trying to stick it in. Parrish with a shot clock. Parrish had five of those on Sunday. Archibald. To Cedric Maxwell. Reed has fouled him in the basketball count. And right now, the Boston Celtics are showing why they had the best record in basketball. As I pointed out before, they had to beat Rick Maxwell. Wilt Chamberlain a feature and highlight. There's a three pointer by Chris Ford. Maxwell with a rebound. Maxwell up with it. He's fouled. But ever since game two, when he said he wasn't ready psychologically to play, the ball then. Pick it up. Bird comes up. Another turnover. Archibald to Maxwell. Patrick Maxwell with 14 points. He's picked up two in a hurry. He's been in some foul difficulty, as has Parrish, as they tried to stay with Moses Malone. Level blocked from behind by Maxwell. Maxwell's doing it all. Tiny Archibald to Roby and the fast break. Really under control. The boss is going to have to jump out on him uh, and really have control the tempo. Bird on a power move. Out to Maxwell with the Bird. 35 inside, three minutes remaining. This capacity crowd for the 30th straight time enjoying the Celtics play. Tipped up that time and in. Cedric Maxwell just having a great game. Gone to a lot of difficulty. Hey, listen, it goes back a long oh. day. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll go Posey. along with that, but I mean... They have got to play the second half expecting to make a miracle. And you've got to keep changing those. And the worst thing you can do is make a cross-court pass. Bird, I guess that's a pass. They got over to Cedric Maxwell. Maxwell, nine, trying to stay with him. Four, nine seconds on the shot clock. Five minutes to go, third period. Maxwell has another rebound and another two points and a chance for a three-point play. And this crowd loves it. Houston still hasn't scored 20 points in any of the previous three quarters. That's what happened to him in that game when they lost by 23. 22 and maybe 24 points. He's not reacting very well to that full-court press. To Tom Janovich. Rebound, Cedric Maxwell. Celtics now pushing it up a little bit. They quit running there for a while after that sensational start to this game. Go back to drawing board again. I remember the Rockets have not lost two games in a row in any of their playoff matches so far. That's right. There's McHale. There's Casey Jones and Jimmy Rogers behind Bill Fitch. Casey has played on eight NBA title teams. Maxwell now with that basket with 28 points, a career playoff high, breaking the record he set Sunday with 24. Level scores. 85-62. Level with six points in the game. Maxwell to Henderson. Coming out of there with it is Maxwell. Boy, this guy has done it all. I don't know if he can play any better. As look at this, 28 points and 15 rebounds. Who do you think he is, Moses? <laughs> Here comes Larry Bird in, and Maxwell leaves, and he gets a standing ovation. Moses, think Moses has uh, just gone to the bench. Robert Reed, Mike Dunleavy, Level, Paltz, and Tom Janovich. Now. The Boston Celtics take a 3-2 lead, and they're one game away from winning their 14th NBA World championship as game six will be coming up Thursday and we'll be bringing you that game from the summit in Houston.